in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to draw a line diagram line plot in origin software so you just need to open the origin this is my x-axis this is my y-axis if you want to increase the number of columns so you can simply right click on this one and you can see insert it will insert you see and you can also simply click here and press Ctrl D. So when you press Ctrl D, so they will ask you this window. So how many columns you want? You want five more columns? So you press five and it will give you five columns. You see? And if you want to make this one X, so it's quite easy. You can uh, double click on this. So it will open here, so you can make this X from here. You see it become X. And another simple way is click here and go to the about panel and this is X. You can make it X from here, right? So this is very simple. Now I'm going to show you how to draw uh, a line diagram. So just put your cursor here and I copy this data from some place I just paste it here this means that these are years and these are number of publication or documents so in 2017 this much publication in 2016 this much publication right so you just need to select and go to plot under the plot go to line plot you see this is sample plot line and sample plots so you can use all these three options line sample and line and sample let's try the first one you see it gives us a very nice curve so i have shown this in my previous videos that how to play around with these data you just need to for example double click so you want to change this double click and you write whatever this is for example my ear and you can bold this and you can increase the size right similarly you can do with this one so you can write uh, number of publication right Select it, make it bold, and increase the size if you wish. From here, this is my number of application. This one you can also do if you want to change this, just click one time. Click, and you can change from here. You see, increase the size as well. Similarly, you can do with this one select one time, increase the size. All right now, if you want to bring the two lines above and below. And this looks like a little bit congested, so I will click, double click on this. And the gap is now two years. So I will go to scale, and under the scale, it is an x axis. So the increment is two, so I will make this four years. And I will apply. You see? It's quite nice. You can also make three year difference year difference right so and now if you want to close this uh, in opposite line so the easiest way is uh, go to grid line and vertical now the selection is on vertical so we say opposite to y you see they give us uh, the line uh, opposite to the x-axis and this is horizontal click the horizontal so this will give you the opposite to the vertical one click this one you see very very simple so you can do all changes from here and this is your legend and you can write here for example number of uh, publication And you can bold it and you can 
increase the size or whatever you want and you can also you want to select this so you can move to any place and you want to do changes to this legend so you go to property and you can change all about this legend here so this is background so I want background is dark marble you see if I, you don't like this you go again and say shadow I myself like the shadow one you see right now the turn is the graph the graphs look beautiful these are square so the symbols are square so if you do not like this symbol so under the symbol go to this and select anyone you like you like this ball sphere you see that increase the size so we can easily see yeah very nicely and if you don't like this one if you like the half one or this one so you go to this one but I will show you the trick here the the, the 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 dark the the thickness is by default so you want to increase the thickness uh, increase the thickness to 50 percent you see yeah it should look very nice now and the fill color is white inside you want another color you want another color you see so it's quite nice way to draw a line diagram so for example if I want to change this color to another good color so I choose this one it's like more beautiful right the line the line is width is this one you want to increase the width so you increase the width you see and you like solid line or dashes line so that's all you just need to click ok so guys that's all about how to draw a line diagram or a line plus symbol diagram in origin.